In this video I will answer 15 questions you asked me in the comments. During that I let you see my three cats on a ride in their bike trailer. What and how often do you feed your cats? My three cats are fed mostly with a raw diet. I use the Franken Prey Plus method. I prepare the meals with recipes myself, meaning they are not pre-prepared meals from a company or something. They get that five to six days a week. The other one or two days they get high quality cat wet food. I use German brands, so they may not available in your country. But this is what I look for in wet food. At least 80% meat content, no grain, no rice, no soy, no sugar, no caramel or similar. No artificial aromas or food coloring. And a healthy iodine content. As treats I feed the same wet food dried hearts from beef, lamb or similar, and cooked chicken hearts. Sometimes they get cat treat meat sticks, and I make sure there's only meat in it, so no grain or similar. I don't feed dry food. I feed adult cats three times a day. In between they get two or three snacks. Cats younger than six or seven months get five meals a day with snacks in between. Cats that are seven months till one year old will slowly get used to less meals, till they only get three meals. I reduce the meals by simply observing if the cats need less meals or not. How long did it take for Odeni to accept the two new kittens? On my channel you can see the introductions between my Siamese cat and my Burmese and Bengal kitten. There I show the progress day by day. I will put the links of both videos in the pinned comment. To give a short answer, with my Burmese kitten it took around one week till they all cuddled up together. With my Bengal kitten it took around one and a half weeks. Both times required careful step-by-step -step introductions and also enough help from me. If your cats are alone at home, do they do nonsense? No. I play with all of them enough before leaving, then I feed them. After that they are tired and go to sleep or simply lay around relaxed somewhere. How many cat litter boxes do you have? Where do you put them? When I had only two cats, I had one litter box. Now I have three cats and I have two litter boxes. Both are in the cat playroom slash my bedroom. I'm thinking about getting a third litter box and put it into another room. How often do you go to the vet and what do you let the vet check? How often I go to the vet depends on the age of my cats. They are under one year old, meaning still kittens, go to the vet four times. The first time I let the vet check following. General checkup for parasites like fleas and mites, feeling the belly, etc. Checking weight, heart and teeth. Fecal sample check for worms and giardia. The other three times I just let the vet check weight, heart and teeth. Those checkups are more for getting the kitten used to vet visits. And that's only possible if there isn't too much of a time gap between each appointment and one of the vet visits is for castrating the cats, of course. Cats between one year and six years old go to the vet once a year. This is what I let the vet check. General checkup, big blood test with values of kidneys, liver and thyroid. Checking weight, heart and teeth, fecal sample check for worms and giardia. Cats that are older than seven years old go to the vet twice a year, so get the same checkups twice a year except the fecal sample check is still just once a year. You said that you always hold your cats at the vet by yourself, but how did you do that? Did you just ask the vet? I came up with the idea because in the past my two Siamese cats were very spooky and panicky around strangers. I just asked my first vet how I should hold them and she showed me. Of course the vet was unsure if I would be able to do that and if the cats would be calm or not but I kept being stubborn about it and wanted to try it. And then when the vet saw that my cats were a lot calmer when I held them, she didn't question it anymore. When I am at a new vet, I immediately say to them that I always hold my cats on my own. Usually they look at me surprised and question my ability, but in the end they all let me hold my cats because they most likely see in my face that they can't change my mind. And then when they all see that my cats are calm, even during taking blood, that they don't wiggle or whine, then they always become very positive and often surprised. At the next appointments I don't even have to say anything anymore, they simply let me do my thing. 
Are all your cats castrated? Yes, they are. I always get my cats castrated when they reach six to seven months of age. Never older than that. What kind of vaccines do your cats have? They are vaccinated against cat flu and feline panleukopenia. How often do you deworm your cats? I give my cats one or two weeks once a month coconut oil against internal parasites. Sometimes I give them instead coconut flakes, of course without sugar. In my over 11 years of keeping cats, I never had to use typical deworm pills from the vet. The fecal samples every year are always negative, meaning they never find anything. How do you take care of your cat's teeth? I feed mostly a raw diet and leave pieces of meat large enough for them to chew properly. Teeth stay in a good condition that way. Feeding raw bones is also helpful for teeth, for example chicken wings or chicken eggs. Also feeding cartilage is helpful. There are also healthy cat treats for teeth that I give them frequently. Do you have to brush your cats often? No, brushing each cat once a week is enough. Why did you decide sharing your experiences and tips with other people? At first I made the channel just for fun, to show my cats on walks occasionally. But then many people started asking questions about how I trained them, so I started making tutorials. More and more questions were asked, also about other topics. So it was pretty much a coincidence. How did you come up with taking your cats outdoors on walks? When I got my two Siamese cats over 11 years ago, the breeder told me that she would go on walks with their mother occasionally. But that was only a short walk around the apartment and as I understand, a rather rare occurrence. That was the first time I heard that it was possible to walk cats. And I thought that this was the perfect solution for keeping cats. I didn't want to have outdoor cats and find them squashed by a car someday or something. But I also didn't want to lock them up indoors their whole life. When taking cats on walks, they can roam in nature, but also are protected by me and always come home safely. When did you walk your cats the first time? That was over 11 years ago. My two Siamese cats were 6 months old and I was 18 years old. However, I only did 2-3 to three walks with them till they were 1 year old. The reason was that calm and natural walk areas were difficult to reach. I didn't know at that time that cats could be transported by bike and I didn't have a car. So I carried my cats by foot through the whole city and that in an uncomfy plastic carrier with only a handle for a hand, meaning without a shoulder strap. My cats were just way too heavy for me to be carried that much distance, and my cats clearly showed that they didn't like it. After a couple of times I gave up, even though the walking itself worked out well. Only after they became one year old I decided to try again, because I moved to the edge of the city and nature was closer. I also started to transport my cats by bike, though first it was still the plastic carrier on the back of the bike, which wasn't that great either. I walked them only once a week or once every two weeks. And in the winter not at all, so there was no routine. When they became three years old I finally found a pet bike basket for my cats and since then everything became a lot better. I also started my proper routine of walking my cats every second day all year around and in every weather. Do you train and film your cats always by yourself or do you have help? I always train and film my cats by myself without help from others. When walking my cats I'm in general always by myself with my cats. While walking my cats for over 11 years there were only 7 to 8 occasions where a person accompanied us. So those were the 15 questions. I hope you liked it. If so, you can leave a thumbs up and a comment. If you want me to make more FAQ videos, you can leave a comment with your questions.